Hello friends, welcome to the 7th episode of Health Vibes by Manipal Hospitals. So friends, today we will be discussing about a very serious medical condition, breast cancer. In India, over 1,50,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer every year, with 70,000 deaths being reported every year. And these numbers are increasing every month, every day, every minute and every second. So my dear friends, we all know that this month, October, is named as Breast Awareness, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So to create awareness to and to understand what exactly breast cancer is, we have with us a very well-known, reputed and the leading medical oncologist of Manipal Hospitals, Dr. Poonam Patil. Dr. Poonam Patil has played a very important role in spreading awareness regarding breast cancer in this region. So I would like to welcome Dr. Poonam Patil on this show. Hello ma'am. Good yeah. afternoon. Good afternoon ma'am. So uh, starting with the basic question, what exactly breast cancer is? Actually breast cancer is just the name given to the organ where the cancer has started. If the cancer starts in the breast, it is known as breast cancer. So naturally breast cancer is where cancer has originated in the breast and then either it continues to stay in the breast for some time or it can later eventually spread to various organs also. But when the cancer originates in the breast, it is known as breast cancer. Okay. And what are the symptoms and the signs of breast cancer? Most of the times women present with a lump seen in the felt in the breast actually. And this is more so when they are doing regular breast self-examinations which is very important and in that they pick up that there is some lump felt which was not felt earlier and then they visit the clinic and then when we examine them and do further tests and make sure that it is either it's investigated properly and we confirm cancer or we rule out cancer. Okay. Okay, Doctor, one more question. Uh, whom does this breast cancer affect? Is there any particular age group or does it affect all the women? Breast cancer obviously being the organ for women, breast cancer most of the times affect women but yes sometimes it can even affect men. Uh, breast cancer is more seen after the age of 50 years and as we grow old the risk of breast cancer developing increases over a period of time. Okay. But younger women also can get breast cancer so if there is a lump which is highly suspicious in uh, younger women also it should not be left unattended and it should be investigated. Okay. So moving towards the questions uh, sent, to, uh, sent from our viewers, the first question is, can physical activity redu reduce the risk of breast cancer? Yes, physical activity uh, reduces the risk of breast cancer in, a, in an indirect way that obesity is a risk factor for breast cancer. Okay. So if you are physically active, you are obviously reducing the risk of obesity and thereby reducing your risk of breast cancer. So if you are obese, there is also risk of breast cancer obviously? Yes. Okay. So yes. this is one add-on for all the people who are obese. <laughs> okay. So the next question is, can a healthy diet help to prevent breast cancer? Uh, not directly so for breast cancer, but it's like a health tip for a reduction, risk reduction of all cancers. Yeah. that uh, you should have a healthy diet which is rich in uh, vegeta vegetables, rich in fruits and drink lots of water and avoid oily stuff, avoid fast foods, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, eat organic food. So all these things are mm -hmm. healthy tips to reduce the risk of many diseases mm -hmm. including cancer. Okay, but in this age all foods are adulterated <laughs> Can't be sure of uh, diet food and healthy food. Yes, that is why we have to say I guess that, that is also one of the factors which yes, is affecting yes, yes, uh, increase in yes, the cases of breast cancer. Yes, it's not just breast cancer. Any other disease. Uh, also. Many illnesses including yes. breast cancer. Okay. And there is one interesting question. Does smoking cause breast cancer? Again, smoking, tobacco, tobacco itself contains many cancer creating agents. So smoking is one of the risk factors for many cancers and not as much for breast cancer but more so for lung cancers, for throat cancers, for pancreatic cancers, for urinary bladder cancers, for cervix cancers. Yes, breast cancer also comes in the list but much lower down. So viewers, I have always been telling this in my show that smoking is injurious to health and one cigarette in a day reduces five minutes of your life. This is a basic everyone knows but still everyone tends to smoke. So viewers, don't smoke, it's really injurious to health. So moving towards the next question that is 
Okay, can drinking alcohol increase the risk of breast cancer? Again, alcohol has been a co-factor in many cancers, uh, not so in breast cancer, but again, as I told you earlier, a co-factor also along with tobacco, it increases the risk of lung cancers, it increases the risk of food pipe cancers, it also causes liver, it increases the risk of liver cancers. And so also breast cancer, but again breast cancer comes a little lower in the list. Okay. Uh, how often should I do a breast self exam? Uh, does a family history of breast cancer put some, uh, someone at a higher risk? Family history of breast cancer may increase the risk of breast cancer in an individual. And it is usually so when say the mother has had a breast cancer at a younger age or the sister has had a breast cancer at a younger age or there are many women in the family especially from the maternal side who have had breast cancer at, or ovarian cancer at a younger age so there the risk of uh, developing breast cancer is a little higher in the individual uh, however breast self-examination when regarding this question it has to be done by every woman after the age of 20 years the, the girl should be able to understand how the normal breast texture is and she should do a regular breast self-examination every month in the first week after her periods. Okay. So this practice should continue as long as they are healthy and they are able to do it. Breast self-examination does not cost anything. It is just a matter of self-awareness. So self-examination must be done every month? Yes. Okay. yes. So moving towards the next question, uh, how often should I go to my doctor for a checkup? Uh, if you are between 20 and 40 years of age, then it should be done once in three years. But after 40 years of age, it should be done annually. Because as we grow older, the risk of breast cancer also increases. So after 40 years of age, the risk of breast cancer goes up much more compared to younger than 40 mm -hmm. years of age. Okay. Uh, if a breastfeeding mother has cancer, can she pass on the cancer to the child? No, cancer doesn't go through breast milk, but if the mother has breast cancer and she is on some kind of treatment such as chemotherapy, definitely she should not breastfeed the child because these drugs can be passed on to the baby when she is breastfeeding and they can cause serious adverse events in the baby. Okay, so here is a description of one of the medical condition. Right? She, uh, she has asked, there are two dimples on the outer side of my left breast like finger poke marks. There have been no changes over one year and no lumps. What could this be? This may be her normal breast texture. If she says that this has not changed over last one year, then I would not really worry about it. But I think she should go once and check with her physician that there's no lump or anything underneath. It doesn't seem to be a problem because it's kind of a static thing. If it was something related to malignancy, then these problems would have eventually worsened over a period of time. But I think the better part would be, advice would be that she should go and see with the physician mm -hmm. and make sure that there is nothing there. Okay. Uh, are red spots caused by breast cancer? Not really. Those small uh, vessels that we see sometimes over skin, including the skin of the breast, they are not caused by breast cancer. They are just benign spots. But uh, yes, sometimes breast cancer can present as inflammation. If there is redness, if there is warmth of the skin, if the skin is swollen and hard and painful, sometimes breast cancer can present that way. So it's not just small red marks, but if these signs are present on the breast also, they should go and check with the doctor whether it's some kind of infection or it is a sign of breast cancer. Okay. Uh, how effective is hormone therapy for met metastatic breast cancer? Hormone therapy is one way of managing metastatic breast cancer, especially if the tumor expresses estrogen and progesterone receptors. Okay. So their the hormone therapy comes in one of the lines of management of the breast cancer. Uh, uh, moving towards the next question, is there an increased risk of getting breast cancer if you get uh, fibrocystic breast disease? No, fibrocystic breast disease is actually a benign breast disease, but only problem there is that women often ignore any lump that develops as a part of fibrocystic disease. So if there is something different that they have felt, they should always consult a doctor before uh, just assuming it to be a part of fibrocystic disease. Fibrocystic disease doesn't really put them at a higher risk of developing breast cancers, 
but where women often tend to ignore new lumps, assuming that mm-hmm. as fibrocystic. Uh, doctor, since it's uh, October is a breast cancer awareness month, I'm sure that our viewers would like to know. Uh, how do you actually prevent? We all know the number of cases of breast cancer are really increasing very drastically nowadays. So how can we uh, prevent? See, we cannot really prevent a disease, but we can probably reduce the risk of risk of, of developing the disease. So as I said, that improving your uh, physical activity and not remaining obese, that itself reduces the risk of developing breast cancer. Number two, our diet a diet which is rich in fresh fruits and vegetables, lots of water, no fast food, no oily stuff. So these are a diet rich in antioxidants, reducing the alcohol intake, no smoking. So these are also some things which reduce the risk of cancers, especially breast cancer. So that is one thing. And uh, as I said that we may not be able to prevent it, but if we can detect it early, we are going to be in the uh, better prognosis subgroup. So we should see also that even if I am following a very healthy lifestyle, it doesn't mean that I can never develop cancer. So I have to look after myself and keep doing the screening test as advised by my doctor to detect mm-hmm. cancer early. So in case of breast cancer, it's always awareness which is, re- which yes. is really very yes. important yes. versus sonogram in breast cancer detection. Uh, sonomammogram is an ultrasound of the breast and that is what is known as real-time ultrasound. Real-time ultrasound is the doctor who is doing it, whatever the doctor is seeing at that time, he will record or he or she will record it and give the images and give the report. Whereas mammogram is an x-ray of the breast and that is much more important because you have a, a view which can be compared with the last year's mammogram and it always is a baseline reference for future mammograms also. So I think both have their own importance in their places, but mammogram is more important or more useful because I can compare with last year's mammogram real time. Okay. Uh, There's one question. My mother has uh, my mother has had a breast cancer twice. I am a male with sensitive gynecomastia. Should I ask a doctor about removing the tissue? If mother has had breast cancer twice, he's a male. Yeah, he's a male. He's a son. Okay. So at what age the mother had breast cancer? That okay. is important. If she was at a younger age group, yes, the gene can also be present in men. It's not that men cannot have breast cancer. So I would say that let him go to a doctor and have it checked. Sensitive gynecomastia doesn't really mean breast cancer. But if there is any nodule or anything that is exam- on examination, the doctor finds a nodule, it can always be tested and okay. confirmed. So viewers, we have come towards the end of the questions. Uh, moving towards our next segment, that is our uh, Mythbuster segment. I have uh, four myths which is related to breast cancer. Every disease will have its own myth. So breast cancer has lots of myths, but I have picked and chosen few myths to ask to, a doc- to our doctor. So myth number one is breast cancer affects only older women. No, it is a myth and uh, breast cancer can occur at any age group but yes, as we age the risk is much higher and uh, at the age of 80 years if you take 10 women, 1 in 8 or 10 will have have breast cancer. Will have? Will have breast cancer. But if you come to the younger age group, if at 50 years of age it would be probably 1 in 50. And if you come to even younger age group, say 25 years of age, maybe one in, it would be in thousands that may develop breast cancer. But as we grow old, the risk increases, but it doesn't mean that younger women cannot develop. We have seen a 19 year old girl in our department who presented with breast cancer. Okay. So, so myth number two is, a family history of breast cancer is the most important risk factor. Uh, Again, not really so. That is truly a myth that if my mother didn't have breast cancer, then Mm -hmm. I would not be at a risk. Or if my mother had breast cancer, then I'm certainly going to get no. It's not so. It is one of the risk factors. But as I said, being a female and aging itself is a bigger risk factor. Mm -hmm. Is it true that if uh, someone in the family, Hmm. maybe our grandmother or grand, someone in the family has breast cancer, like, are we in the risk uh, of getting cancer, someone in the next generations? 
Not necessarily. Not necessarily. So, not necessarily. Right. so it also depends on the genes if we have inherited. There's something known as BRCA1 mm -hmm. and 2 gene that is BRCA, it's known as BRCA uh, gene. So if that BRCA gene is mutated and that is carried on from the mother to the daughter, yes, then the risk does increase. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so next, next myth is breast cancer even affects men. Yes, breast cancer can affect. Now, if it affects, uh, what is the risk? Uh, like how riskier is it in men? It's the same it's outcome. The same. Yes, it's like early stage is always better than advanced stage. Okay. So right, when it comes to men, how do we identify or is there any self Yes, not really, but in men, the breast cancer also presents the same way as a lump in the breast or as an ulcer in the breast. And uh, men sometimes think that they are not at risk of developing mm -hmm. breast cancer and then they... I'm sure many of our viewers won't be knowing this. <laughs> and that is why they ignore it. They ignore and there is not much breast tissue in men. So if the lump starts increasing, it becomes a relatively advanced cancer which uh, compared to women. Mm -hmm. So the treatment, everything signs, symptoms, the everything, everything remains, the same. remains the same. Okay. So the last myth is myth number four. That is, mammography is painful and not safe. Mammography is, I would say, it's painful in the sense it's a pain in the neck, yes. <laughs> because it's a little uncomfortable procedure. And that is how you get good views. Actually, in mammogram, the breast needs to be compressed well to get a good image. So if I want a good report, there should be a good image. And to get a good image, the breast needs to be compressed. So that is what some women find uh, uncomfortable and painful but see it's done once in a year so might as well do it off and have that discomfort for some time and it may last only for a few minutes not more than that the duration of mammography is this whole procedure maybe around 20 25 minutes oh, that's it okay. yeah that's so 20 it. minutes in a year is not a big hectic job not so it's time. always uh, it's always good to be on safer side so yes. just come once in a year have this checker mammography done and be on the safe side yes so doctor we have come to the end of the show just so i just want you to summarize everything and give some points and tips to our viewers so that they can always be on the safer side yes now the better part in breast cancer is that breast is such an external organ which every woman can see and feel every day so that is where uh, we find sometimes very um, we feel very sorry when women have seen changes, when they have felt changes and they have not come immediately. They hesitate to come. Yeah, they are hesitant to come and also they keep themselves lower in the priority list compared to the family members. So they feel that after the exams we will go or after this marriage we will go and that is where they come in advanced stage and we feel so bad that it was something that they had seen and felt and if they would have come earlier, naturally the diagnosis would have been at an earlier stage where the cure rates are much higher compared to the advanced stages. Okay, uh, okay doctor, thank you. So on behalf of all of you, I would like to thank you for coming to this show and enlightening us with the lots of vital uh, facts related to breast cancer. So my dear friends, we all know that uh, prevention is better than cure. But when it comes to breast cancer, it's always awareness. It is very important for us to identify the signs, the symptoms, and to get it treated and cured in the early stage itself. So friends, please share, like, and comment on this post so that we can spread the word to the whole world. Thank you. Signing off, Nishan. Stay fit, stay happy, stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you.